You're going to have plenty of opportunities day in, day out throughout your life to become anchored, to become stable in your body, to align your chakras and allow your energy to flow so that you can manifest the life of your dreams or a life that's aligned with your higher self. But if you're not aware of these opportunities, something can happen to you that can really contribute to manifesting a reality that just seems unfulfilling, um, out of alignment, brings forward unhappiness, lacks joy, lacks abundance, those types of things. And I'm going to explain to you how this works and how you can become aware of when it's happening and how you can make a choice in the moment to redirect your energy so that you could take action and just start to align with these higher frequency emotions that will manifest the life you desire, a higher frequency timeline, right? So throughout your day, you have interactions with people. And the longer you've known somebody, the more impact or effect they can potentially have on your field. You become desensitized to the energy that is being exchanged between you and the other individual the longer that you interact with them. So if you're at work, you have a coworker, or maybe you're in a relationship where you see somebody day in, day out, you will tend to match a frequency or entrain to a frequency that is active in their field. Now, this is just a, a pattern or normal uh, condition of being unconscious. We allow ourselves to drop and match the energy of the experience that we're having, and oftentimes this experience is another individual. So if you're interacting with somebody who is unconscious and they are very ego-driven, very ego-based, very fear-centric, those types of, of frequencies, if you are not aware of what's happening in the moment, you will gradually shift to align into those frequencies. Now this happens because you have an element of unconsciousness to you. You've had experiences in your past or traumas that are being stored within your body and this interaction with this other individual is allowing those energies to manifest, to become present, become active in your field and thus you become that frequency. Okay, You match it and all this happens unconsciously. And again, the longer you've known somebody, say maybe it's a coworker at work and you show up every day and you get to work and you see them and you feel it and you just become it, it shifts you right away, right? I'm sure many of you watching this video have had that experience. I know if I had that experience, it may not necessarily be at work, but it could be a family gathering or some sort of a reunion or something like that. You will tend to match the frequency of the energy that is being projected by that person, okay? So you're like a tuning fork, meaning that when there's a resonant frequency out here, your body, your field, will entrain to that frequency. Now, that happens automatically. It's like we're not, we don't have our eye on the ball, right? We're, we're not in control of our vibration in that moment. So patterns, trauma, prior behavior, habits will dictate. They will allow us to slip and match that vibration. So that's what happens often, and you do this day in, day out, you kind of get desensitized to it. It becomes like a pattern and you realize that, you know, maybe years down the road that that's been controlling your life because you've been allowing subconsciously your, yourself to drop to a lower frequency, right? To match somebody else. So what happens is to avoid that or to change that, you need to become aware and conscious when that happens. So I like to flip it around and say like an external person, a person to trigger uh, an interaction with somebody um, is controlling how we feel, right? We like to blame that. It's like the energy vampire is taking my energy and they're causing me to, to my vibration to lower. My frequency is dropping, right? They're just taking all of my energy. But this is a choice internally. And a lot of times it's, a, it's an unconscious choice. It's like we just allow it to happen because we don't have our eye on the ball. But if you're aware of these shifts, let's say you go to work, you see a coworker, they always manifest this feeling within you. If you're aware of that, and you can remember in the moment that you have the choice to control how you feel in the moment, it's called being empowered, then the dynamic of that relationship starts to shift. 
So as that tuning fork, when it's left to its own devices, will entrain you to that other person's frequency, maybe they're really unconscious, you will start to slip into that unconscious programming, patterning, and behavior. But if you have your eye on the ball and you feel that shift start to happen, you remember that I could connect in with my solar plexus or I can get into my root and start to feel stabilized. I can start to feel anchored. What happens is you start to emit your own vibrationary, vibrational field, your own frequency. It's a higher frequency. You start to rise into a higher frequency and emit that, meaning that you have stopped your vibration from dropping to match the other person. Now, how does this affect the other person? Well, if they expect you to behave a certain way as you in the past have dropped down to match them on their frequency, all of a sudden now you're higher, they're still lower. What happens is it creates like this discourse in the relationship. And oftentimes that causes the other person to start to awaken out of their behavior because they're seeing something new reflected back to them through you. And that is empowerment. That is confidence. That is anchored stability because you made a choice. You were aware of what was happening. And in that choice, you decided to bring something else forward consciously with intention. Instead of letting your energy bleed out into the situation, you brought it back in and changed something within here. So now you're vibrating at a faster rate. You're reaching higher frequency states of consciousness and you're staying anchored there. You're saying, I'm not going to allow the circumstance, the external circumstance, to control me. I am taking my power back and I am going to be in control over this situation. So you're vibrating high. The other person's at a lower state. All of a sudden, there's no longer that same interaction, right? There's something different happening. So you are showing up in a way that they don't expect, right? So all of a sudden, the whole dynamic of the energy changes. So where you were allowing your energy to flow out into their situation, now all of a sudden, you're reclaiming that energy and they're really essentially have an opportunity to wake up now and say, wait a second, something different is happening here. I'm feeling something different from you. Okay, this is an awakening moment. Maybe it doesn't happen conscious, consciously. Maybe they get angry because you didn't show up in the way they expected. And maybe they storm off, right? But something different happened in that moment. You did not allow yourself to drop to match their frequency in this unconscious zone. You stayed conscious and that didn't resonate with their frequency of unconsciousness. Okay, these lower vibrational states, right? So either they get defensive and want to protect the reality they know and they remove themselves from the situation, from your presence in that moment, or something else happens and they see another way of moving forward that you are showing them a way of moving into the light, moving more into love, moving more into compassion, maybe moving more into understanding. Maybe there was some sort of a disagreement here. Maybe you've been fighting or arguing for weeks or months or years, right? So it creates this scenario or this situation that manifests that really keeps you guys locked in an unconscious pattern. But you've shifted that pattern because you showed up in a different way. Now that affects the other person, sometimes un unconsciously, sometimes consciously, and they see the scenario from a different perspective. That's how realities start to shift. So it all starts with you. You being able to spot when your traumas, when your patterns, when your behaviors start to, to lower your vibration, you start to drop into lower frequency emotional states and they manifest the same kind of life conditions that they've been manifesting for a long, long time, right? That's, that's looking back to the past to create the same future based on what's happened in the past. But with awareness and with becoming conscious, you can short circuit that behavior. You could change that behavior and manifest a completely different result. Now, you're not taking responsibility for how the other person reacts when you were dropping into their, to match their frequency. Essentially, you were doing that, right? You were matching a, an experience that they're familiar with and comfortable with. You were becoming a version of you that they knew really, really well. Maybe that was argumentative version, right? Maybe there was some bitterness there. Maybe, you know, there was some competitiveness there. Maybe there was some lack there, right? Whatever it is, you were dropping into these lower emotional states that the other person was comfortable with, but you made a choice. You were aware 
when your frequency started to drop, that you had the power to change that by bringing it into your body. We do this in a new you all the time. We talk about how your circumstances have an effect on your thoughts, which really create how you feel. Okay, they affect how you feel. But you have the power to change that, something we go on over and over again in my A New You program. Okay, so when you decide to see things differently because you were aware of the shift in your frequency when you've encountered an individual that you've always had this lower frequency relationship with, and your body wanted to match that because that's what it knows, when you decide to stop that, all of a sudden you can anchor into your body bring forward more light, your central channel starts to clear, energy starts to get moving, it's no longer flowing out into the scenario, it's coming back in here. And you become anchored, stable, grounded, anchored in your root, confident, your solar plexus, right? You start to become more authentic in how you interact with this person, and you start to connect with love and compassion, knowing that the situation of unconsciousness helped you come to this moment of awareness, and that starts to change everything. It first starts with significantly changing yourself because now you're in control of the tuning fork, okay? When you can be anchored and aware of the frequency of the energies that you are broadcasting, now you give everybody else's tuning fork the opportunity to match you, to entrain to you, instead of you giving up control and matching everybody else's. So when you walk into a room and you're feeling all of this tension, you're feeling all of this heaviness, you can drop to it and match it, or you can create a new reality in the moment by choosing to align with higher frequency emotional states by anchoring in your body. That then gives everybody else the opportunity to start to entrain to you. That's how you manifest your power to heal, your power to shift. Do you resonate as a light worker? Do you resonate as a star seed? If you do, drop a yes in the comments because you are here to do just that. You are here to take control. You are here to drop into your body, to anchor into your power and your ability to be the creator that you came here to be and allow that to have an impact on those around you. The more you do that, the more effect you have on this reality, the more people start to plug into the energetic grid they start to awaken to the truth of who they are, love and light, divine beings, limitless beings, and then new earth manifests right out of that. It all starts with you. If you want to talk more about this, click the link in the description for a free 15-minute call with me. I'd love to get on the phone, find out where you're stuck, and help you discover how to take that next step in your journey. So make sure you do that today. My calendar is open for that. If this video resonated with you, watch this one next. Thank you.